Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to discuss how to get zip files unzipped onto your iPad. I'm going to use Procreate Brush Set zip files to show you how to get the zip file onto your iPad, to extract the files, and how to get the brushes into Procreate. So let's get going. So one of the main questions I get with my Procreate Brush Sets is how do I get them downloaded from the internet and into my Procreate on my iPad. So today I'm gonna to do this tutorial to help you understand how to do that. So I'm gonna walk you through using one of my Procreate brush sets as an example. And know that this can work for any free downloads that you get or zip files that you get online as well. And I'm just gonna use this one as an example. So when you do purchase this set, this is the page that comes up with your product on it, ready for you to download it. So you have choices here. You can download each of these brushes and there's 30 of them. You can download each one at a time by choosing just the download button beside it. When you touch it, you get this screen. The iPad recognizes it as a Procreate brush file and it says open in Procreate. Now if it doesn't say that, because sometimes it won't recognize it, you choose the more button and you slide across until you find the Procreate icon and you choose that one. So we'll go back and we'll just choose the open in Procreate because it's there and it automatically puts it straight into your Procreate app under the imported file folder. So that's how you can put them in one at a time directly from the product page. But what it is nice to be able to do is to have a backup on your iPad of the brushes in case you mess them up or play around with them because custom brushes can't be reset so you would have to reload them. So it's good to have a backup of the files that you've purchased and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we go back to the main product page and we're going to choose up here this download all and it gives you an option of downloading it as a zip. So we will choose that and it's downloading now and it brings up this window that has a zip icon in it. So it lets you know that it is a zip file. It gives you the name of it and it gives you some options. So I also have an, um, an app called iZip and I will show you that at the end, but I'm going to show you this time how you can do it without any other apps other than what comes with your iPad. So we want to save it to files. So we're going to choose save to files. And if you don't have the iZip app on you, it'll, uh, it'll say open in files, which is what you want. But if it doesn't, choose the more and choose save to files. And now it's going to ask you where you want to save it in your files. So every one of the apps on here that, that deals with files makes its own folder when you download it. So Procreate has its own and I'm just going to choose Procreate. I have other folders in here, but I'm just going to choose the Procreate folder and add it. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into our file folder and there it is. So again, this is the icon right here, the file folder for the iPad. And here is my zip file right here. So when I click on it, so I'm going to warn you, if you have iZip on your iPad, it's going to automatically go to iZip. So I don't have iZip on my iPad right now because I want to show you how to do this without having to get another external app. So we're going to touch the zip file and it comes up with this window. And right here we have preview content. So we haven't unzipped it yet. But when you preview the content, it shows you what's in the, the zip file. So there's all the brushes in here on their own panes. So how we get them out of here, and this is a one at a time thing using this method, we literally go up to the right hand corner to the share icon and we share it and we can save it to files. Now you could also directly put it into Procreate from here and it would do exactly what you did if you would download the, the single brushes from the internet. It'll put it straight into Procreate in the imported file folder. However, I want to create a backup on my folder. So I'm going to save to files. And it comes up and asks me where I want to save it. And I want to save it in Procreate. So we're going to add it in there. And now it's there. So the way I can show you that is I'm going to go back and done. And we're in our file app. And there is the brush. So you can save them one at a time. And you'll end up with your 30 brushes. Now the other option is, is I have created a file folder. And you do that by using this little folder uh, with the plus sign at the top and you can add them into that instead. Or the other option is, is I put all 30 of them in, then I created my folder and I selected them all and dragged them into the folder. So those are the options on how you can get those brushes in. 
Now, the next thing I want to show you now that you've got them here, how do I get them into Procreate? So this little folder here has all the brushes and that's the one I created. I brought them in one at a time and put them into a folder. So I can touch on individual brushes and they will automatically go into Procreate. So you can do that with each one 30 times, but I'm also going to show you how you batch import as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this up. We get our little bar at the bottom with all of our icons and your file folder has to be on this icon for this to work. So this over here is my most recent that I've used. So we're going to long press on it and drag it up into our window and let it float. So it's a floating window now. I'd like it to be on the opposite side so I can see my brushes. I'm going to open my brushes and now I can create a new folder. We're going to call it designers. So now I want to put all 30 brushes in here. So I go into my folder. I would select them and I would choose select all because I want all 30 of them. I would just long press on any one and it'll bring all 30 and see how it goes green. It's telling you that's ready to drop them and you drop them. All 30 of them are now going into that designer folder that I created and I have them all in Procreate in a batch. So that's how you can batch import them or you can import them one at a time. Now the nice thing is, is that you have all of these brushes on backup on your, on your iPad. So this little symbol here means that they are a custom brush and it means that you can't reset them because they were made outside of the Procreate app. So if you were to go in and play around with the settings, which I like to do all the time, and you think, oh no, I messed it up. I do get those emails. I messed up the brush. What do I do? All you have to do is if you don't want it anymore, you can delete it. You go back into your backup on your files, which you can do it anywhere. You can even just go out, go into files and say, oh, which brush did I mess up? Let's say I messed up the diamonds. All you have to do is touch it and it brings in a fresh copy into your imported folder. So always into your imported folder when you do it that way. So there's a fresh copy the way that it was from the beginning. And if I want it in that designer folder, I have to long press and I just bring it over. The little green plus sign comes up, highlight it, it opens, and then I can drop it in. If you don't, it drops in somewhere else or just goes back to where it was. That's how you get a nice fresh copy in off your iPad. So it's nice to have that backup on your iPad so that you never have to worry. You can always bring in a fresh copy of the brush. Now I'm going to show you iZip. So I have to go back into the app store and get that because it was interfering with this method. So I'm going to download. So you look up iZip and it's called iZip basically. And the benefit of using iZip is that it extracts all the files at once. So you don't have to go one at a time with all 30 of them. But what I, what I don't really enjoy about iZip is that it is full of ads and it's always coming up with pop-up windows. It, it's kind of, it works better in some ways and in other ways it can kind of be a bit of a distraction. So I do want to show you this option in case you want to use it. So once I have iZip downloaded, and the reason I didn't have it in again, I'll tell you, is that when you open up a zip file, it doesn't give you the option to put them in the file folder. It automatically jumps to iZip first. And that's okay because I'm going to show you how that works. So we have iZip open and if I were to go back into my file folder now and I am go back to the zip file, zip file, it automatically jumps to iZip because it says it's a zip file and I'm going to extract it for you. Would you like to unzip all files? Okay. And I don't need this little window here. So it unzipped all 30 of those files just like that. So now what I can do is select them all. So they're all selected and then I choose the share here. You selected multiple files. Do you want to compress them first? No, I do not because I just uncompressed them. And then it's going to give me options. So the next thing I want to do is save to files. It's going to come up and say, where do you want to save it? And I'm going to say my Procreate. You can save them anywhere, but Procreate makes the most sense. So they're there. So now I can close that, go back into my file and there they are. There's all 30 of them. So that gives you a few different options on how to get that zip file of brushes onto your iPad, how to extract them and how to get them into Procreate so that you can use them. So thanks so much for joining me in this tutorial. And remember, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any tutorials in the future. 
So go enjoy, create. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.